So you clicked on this video because you're interested in making 30K per month, but you have no idea on how to accomplish that goal. But guess what? Your boy has you, as always. I'm going to show you in this video how to accomplish that using two free tools. And you'll have the opportunity, if you like, to partner with me to make that happen. So to make that happen, you know what you need to do. You need to simply stand by and let's get it. Flip man, flip man. It's the flip man. Flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? Flipping houses without credit or your cash. Get bag. Hello guys, this is Ty, a.k.a. The Flip Man. So you're wanting to make 30K a month, but you don't know how. Well, your boy got you. I am going to show you in this video how to combine Zillow and Zomps to target potential motivated sellers nationwide. Now, before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like this, but then more importantly, share this. I don't ask for much. Will you please do that for me? But in this video, what we're going to show you is number one, how to build lists nationwide, targeting multifamily and land for sale by owner. The reason we're going to target for sale by owner is because we get directly to the decision maker and it makes it a lot easier to get them to work with us as a wholesaler. We're going to let them know that we are wholesaling their property. A lot of people won't do it. But guess what? Enough will because we're targeting the entire country. If you stick around to the end of this video, not only am I going to show you how to build the list of these potential motivated sellers, I'm also going to provide the script training so you'll know exactly what to say to get them to work with you as a wholesaler. Now, here's the good part. And you don't have to do this, but I'm also going to give you the opportunity to partner with me. So enough of me yapping. Let's get on to the training. Okay, so we're going to be using two tools that are free. Maybe a third tool if you're trying to determine what an owner has paid for a particular property, which could be huge in negotiating an actual deal. The first tool is Zomps, which is a tool I had created to make Zillow more user-friendly for investors and wholesalers, right? And then we're going to be using Zillow, all right? The third tool is PropStream, which you can get a subscription of that. You text the word PF, which will show you how to build pre-foreclosure list if that's your thing. PF to 205-964-5243. All right, so to get Zomps, the first thing you're going to do, select this blue button here. Now, this red button is for if you're trying to build self-storage lists, which you could partner with me on. There's training there for that, but this video is not about that. All right, so once you get here over to the Google Chrome Web Store, you must be using a desktop or a laptop to use this. This can't be used on a tablet or a smartphone. So you hit add to Chrome, add extension, and boom. So now you can close this window if you want it, and you go over to Zillow. Okay, so Zillow, with Zomps added, you'll have this floating menu over here to the right. If you don't see that, that means it's not added. Sometimes you have to go to Zomp, I mean to Zillow and just do a refresh, and it will appear. So let's just choose any city. So I just have an address in here already. We're just going to go with Orlando, Florida. All right, so as soon as you get in here, what you want to do, anytime you're going to do a new search of any sort using Zomps with Zillow, is go here to more and reset all filters. All right, the next thing, as the date of this video, because Zillow's constantly changing their platform and we'll make the updates as needed. You go down here to the bottom right to remove the boundary. Go here, then select cancel. So as you can see now, the entire map lights up, right? With properties all over the place. If we move from Florida, we can go to different parts of the country. It'll just light up, okay? Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, we're searching first for multifamily. We're gonna do multifamily and land, but we're gonna start with multifamily. There's only just some slight changes that are made. First thing you're gonna do is go up here to home type and you're gonna deselect all, and you're gonna select multifamily, hit apply. 
Next, you're going to go back over here to more and you're going to select by owner. Remember, we're targeting properties that are for sale by owner. Select by owner and you're going to deselect everything else here. Only owner posted and coming soon. You're going to remove that. So hit apply. So now if you zoom out to the right position, you'll know when you you zoom out far enough, when you move your mouse around, it'll highlight the different states that we're targeting. So if I click on any particular state once it's highlighted, as you notice, it creates an automatic boundary around that state. Now, if I go back up here to more, it will tell me how many multifamily properties for sale by owner are in that particular state. So this one is uh, the state of Kansas, I think. No, I'm sorry, it's Missouri. State of Missouri. So it's showing 14 of them. All right, so I can add these two ways to Zumps so we can start to build our list. So I can click on these, click on the small window will appear, the preview window, and then I click on it again. Your plus sign should be over here. As you notice, it says for sale by owner. The plus sign appears, so I'll go ahead and add that one. You can do it that way. If I go here, select the key here, the little logo, you see that property is added. But I'm going to go ahead and remove it because I want to show you the uh, automatic way to do it. So I have it set up here in Zomps that if you use the draw tool, go back down here, right? Select that little icon there. And now if I draw an area, we'll just say in here, we'll just use half of it, right? And hit apply. So now it captured a number of these, but it will only allow you to download 10 at a time. So if you don't see this orange button appear here, that means you've uh, you've added more than, than the limit, the maximum of allowable amount to download using the automatic uh, feature in the two. So just assume that you had too many and I'll show you that. I'll just show you just for, for example. So I'm gonna go down and hit the folder again, hit cancel. And then I'm gonna go back down, hit the folder again. And so now I'm just going to try to draw, um, just a boundary that I know will include more than 10. I hit apply. So now you see the orange button doesn't appear now. Okay. So if you're going to use that feature, let me go cancel again, hit apply, go down and hit the uh, icon again once more. And now let me just draw a small area here, hit apply and boom. So I did too many again. So let me, let me go back. So let me move that cancel. All right. And let's do just a little area down here. Hit apply. Okay, so boom. So now I hit the plus sign. So it's going to add those. So it's nine of them. And while it's adding it, it actually previews each one of them. So really doesn't take in, in that long. Should be less than an actual minute. But what it's doing is actually building the list for you. And I'll show you in just a moment. Once it's completed, it'll have a counter down here. You'll know when it's getting close to completing. You'll see the notification. Hit OK. And then boom, there's your list. So in this list, it has everything that we need. It has the uh, price that they're trying to sell it for. It has the address, the city, state, all of that. It has more information on here on the number of views per day, uh, the save rate, uh, the days on Zillow, which is important, has square footage, you're built. And then obviously it's the multifamily type. Now some of these will look like houses, but for whatever reason it's coded as multifamily. So a lot of times it may be a house and another house on the property. They're going to assume that that's multifamily. So just be aware that that is part of them organizing these particular type of uh, properties. But the main thing is, is that you have the phone numbers here and remember because you already have the phone number here, these people are trying to sell. So this is not like a cold call. So you don't need to know what their name is because they're actively trying to sell their properties. So that's where the script part of this comes into play. So now whenever you get ready to download this and I, I won't down, let me just do the land first and then I'll show you how to download this. Okay. So I'm gonna close this. Well, let me open it back up. Well, I can leave it here cause it's going to be a different tab. So that's under uh, zombs for houses is where you'll find those, which will be the first thing it defaults there. All right. So let's remove this. Let's go back and we're going to 
remove that boundary, uh, hit apply, and we're going to go back and we're going to change this over from multifamily to lots of land. Okay, so you see it has a lot more here. So if I zoom out, if I select the, the, the state of Missouri again, now if you look at more, it's 54 properties that are for sale in that market, okay? Now you'll go through the same process of adding property. So I'm just gonna add these down here, just gonna create a, a quick little boundary in this area here, hit apply. All right, it only added one of them, let me remove that. Let's do it again. Let's see, is it gonna be too many? All right, it is. So let's do it again. So let me, let's cancel. So let me zoom in a little bit so I can make sure I don't get too many. So boom, let's do that. Now let's hit apply, let's see what we got. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's add these. So it's three of those. So it's automatically add them. Again, you can manually add these if you want, totally up to you. Hit our notification, go back here. Now we need to go over to Zombs for Land. So as you see, there's our information. Contact information over here, size of the, the property, the number of acres, right? If it's less than an acre, it'll show it in decimals. You have the price, you have the uh, price per acre, the address, and then obviously again, the contact information. Okay, so now let's say we're gonna go back over here for Zombs for Houses, which has our multi-family list. So let's download this list now. So once you download the list, so what you'll do is go over here to action and, so, and, and select all, hit apply, go back to action again, you have to, you have to select it twice. You may press this, that arrow button twice. Export as a CSV, hit apply. All right, I'm going to save this just on my desktop so I can easily find it. So I'm gonna say Mo Zillow. All right, hit save. So now what you'll do, just go back to Google. And if you have a Gmail, all you have to do is just log into your Gmail and then just go to the Google main site. Just go to google.com, right? And then from there, if you go over here to the little hamburger and you're going to select Google Sheets, right? Select Google Sheets. This folder right here, select this folder. Upload, you see upload right here. And then you're going to go browse if you want to find it. I could go to my desktop and find it there in that way. Or I'm using a Mac, so it's a little different than some. If I show in folder, I can drag it and drop it there also. All right, so now what happens is it opens up and bam, there we go. All of our information there. It still even has the link to the property if I wanted to open it up. So there it is if I wanted to do that. At the end down here, we have our contact information. So now you have it easily accessible right on your desktop or laptop or even your, your other devices. All right, and then from there, you'll start to make your calls. So now you have your list downloaded. And you may do this, do these based on the city, the state, or you may just put it all in one list. It's totally up to you depending on what market or markets you want to target. Well, now you know how to build the list. But once you have the list built, you have phone numbers of these warm leads of people wanting to actually sell, what do you say to them to work with you as a wholesaler? Well, as I said in the beginning of the video, your boy got you. So what you need to do to access that script lingo training is text the word BALL to 205-964-5243. What will happen is you're going to receive a link back to my Telegram channel that will have this training along with a copy of the actual script. Now, once you have access to that particular channel, you'll also be provided the instructions on how to partner with me. So again, if you want access to that particular script, lingo and training to complete this process, text the word BALL to 205-964-5243 and I will see you on the flip side. Flip man, flip man, it's the flip man, flip man, flip man. You want some money in your hand? In your hand. Flipping houses without credit or your cash. Get that bag.